So once I got a groove going, it couldn't have taken me more than several minutes to bloom just under a hundred fibers overall. So that's not too bad. It goes fast. Certainly faster than threading them is going to go. And on this front, the one thing I can definitely say is, however you decide to do it, as long as you're meticulous about being repetitive, about working in a particular order and not deviating from that, you probably won't miss any windows, or uh, not windows, but in this case, computer holes, computer data light holes, whatever you want to call them. Years ago when I did my MPC uh, Star Wars Star Destroyer, in that case what I did was to leave a quarter inch end off of all of the fiber that I had put through the windows, quarter inch on the outside of the window. Then I painted the model, and then when that was done, I razor bladed all the ends and shot the whole thing with a heat gun. That was definitely a sloppy way to do it. It was a good way to do it really fast and dirty, but it definitely wasn't the proper way to do it. It did get the job done, but some of the fibers looked uh, eh, not great. I didn't get an even cut on everything as well as I would have liked. Had I done this method, however, it would have been a much more difficult prospect. However, when I get to do my anagrand resin two foot long Star Destroyer, I will certainly be doing it proper then. So even though I drilled out all these holes here, there are still a few that are a little thick or a little clogged up and makes threading just a little bit more difficult than other little window holes and keep calling them windows they certainly feel like it there's certainly enough of them hopefully I'll stay in camera for all of this there's really no other place that I could set the camera up to get a better view because right now I think not even my eyes have a really good view and this is the best view going just so I can see what's going on. So I've got dozens of fibers in the other hand which is also holding the Jupiter in place here kind of. And I'm just pulling one out fiber at a time. Yeah, so this is going pretty quick. Under a dozen little holes left to fill. Make that eight of them. And this one piece, one ninth of all of it, is done. Well, it's threaded at the very least. And let's face it, this is a huge part of it. If I was doing this as a full daytime job, definitely be hating life. But for a relatively small project like this, it's not too bad. The effort is definitely going to pay off with the final look of it. So apart from all this fiber optic threading, I think another aspect of flight log, what is it, 27 we're in, is going to be soldering up some sequencer boards. Care of Fedoratron, who has the El Sequenzatore, which is a really nicely priced sequencer. I think it's got 10 LEDs on it. 
One of the things I have to find out from Elliot Brown, the owner of Fedora Tron, is if I could just get like three or four of those LEDs to go in sequence and not use the other six or seven. There's one section done. Nine more to go. I'm going to see if I can fit a larger fiber optic, a .75 millimeter, onto the two end holes there. I think it'll go. The most difficult thing about this is trying to get an angle. 